In this video, we look at the different base number systems. We cover binary, base 2, and decimal, base 10, which you're all really familiar with. And we look at hexadecimal, base 16. And we work some examples of how to convert between decimal, binary, and hexadecimal number bases. As a quick reminder, deanery is referred to as a base 10 number system as we have 10 unique digits available in a number system, 0 through 9. Whereas binary is referred to as a base 2 number system, as it has two unique digits available to it, 0 and 1. Of course, other base number systems exist, and an important one to know about in terms of computing is hexadecimal, which is known as base 16. In this video, we will look at how you represent positive integers, such as deanery 15 or 179, in base 16 hexadecimal. Being a base 16 number system means that hexadecimal requires 16 unique digits to represent the first 16 numbers. For us, that poses some of a problem as we only have 10 digits available. To get around this, we use the letter A to represent the deanery value of 10. And we continue from there. So B equals 11, C equals 12, all the way up to 15 equaling F. This gives us 0 through 9 and A through F for a total of 16 unique digits. Let's have a quick look then at a comparison of the deanery numbers 0 through 15 represented in base 2, base 10 and base 16. So here's our table for comparison. The left hand column is base 10 deanery and there's our first 16 numbers through 0 to 15. Again note because deanery is base 10 we only have a single digit to represent 0 through 9. As soon as we get to 10 we need to combine a 1 and a 0. This is obviously something we're used to. The next column is binary. Base 2, we only have a 0 and a 1 available. As soon as we need 3, we need to start putting digits together. Um, if you're not sure how binary works, look back at one of our previous videos. Here on the right is hexadecimal. Because hexadecimal is base 16, we have 15 unique digits, 0 through 9 and A through F, to represent the first 16 values. So we can represent that with a single alphanumeric character. Let's now have a look at how to convert a positive integer into hexadecimal. The trick and the easiest way to do this is to first convert it into binary. Let's have a look by using a worked example. We're going to convert the positive deanery integer of 179 into base 16 hexadecimal. First, you start by writing out your standard base 2 uh, binary waiting line. Here it is, just a reminder, starts at 1, and then we double 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Now, we write the binary for 179 under the waiting line. If you can't remember how to do this, watch our video on representing positive integers in binary. OK, so here's 179 written in base 2 binary. We have a 1 in the 128 column, plus a 1 in the 32, plus a 16, plus a 2, and a 1 for the total of 179. That's quite straightforward. To convert the number into base 16 hexadec hexadecimal, all we now need to do is group the binary into sets of 4. We then apply our own mini binary waiting line to each set of four and convert as normal. Let's show you. Okay, so we've grouped the first four binary digits together and we simply apply the mini binary timeline. One, two, four and eight. A two plus a one equals three. And of course we can see that if we read across 3 is the 
the 0, 0, 1, 1 in binary, and it's 3 in hex. We just group the next four digits. But because they're four digits and we're treating them on their own, we apply our own binary waiting line. 1, 2, 4 and 8. So we have an 8 this time, and a 2, and a 1. 8, 9, 10, 11. Of course, we don't have 11 in hexadecimal, but as we can see, if we take 1, 0, 1, 1, and read across, you can see 11 in deanery, 1, 0, 1, 1 in binary is a B in hex. Nice and straightforward. So just to recap, if you're taking a deanery number and you want to convert into hex, the easiest thing is to write the deanery number out first of all in binary and then group in blocks of four, calculate the value and read across. So in conclusion, 179 in base 10 deanery is 10110011 in base 2 binary and becomes B3 in base 16 hexadecimal. So why in computing do we use the hexadecimal system, given that we already had a base 2 binary system which computers are based on? Well, hexadecimal was used as shorthand to binary simply because it's easier and quicker to represent a byte, a string of eight ones and zeros, as two single digits. It's easier for programmers, users, technicians to write and remember a hex code than a binary one. Colours are a great example of where this is used in computing. There are so many colours that most need to be represented by a string of 24 bits. In this screenshot we can see the hex colour 8080FF and each of these pairs of hex values map nicely to a binary number. So 80 um, to the power of 16 is 128 and it's storing the value for red. Same here for green and FF which is obviously a string of eight ones is the binary equivalent, or the decimal equivalent, sorry, of 255.